I'm the assistant choreographer and dance captain, so um, I uh, look, all, look after all the choreography and make sure that we're uh, running the same thing, the same as we did in rehearsals <laughs> as we are now after after a year of being on the road. Oh, okay. And I'm a musical director, so I do the same thing, but for all the singing and the music. I look after the band. We have a band of seven down there, um, and yeah, just make sure that they sing so as how, well as they did at the beginning. <laughs> how many people are mic for the show? Everybody. Everybody. Every yeah. single one. Every single one. Wow. Yes. Exciting. Yeah. It is really exciting. exciting. Tell yeah. us about the choreography of the show. Ah, um, we just having it from a further interview. We're just uh, saying how much the, um, at the start of the, it was uh, very. There was only a small amount of choreography in the production, and it evolved very much in the very first year to what you see now. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, there's masses of different numbers with very different at the start of Act 2 where you've got a, what we call like a dream sequence which happens in most old school musicals and it's um, but very very differently in this production it's very eerie it's very creepy and very it's also comical as well yes, really comical absolutely tongue in cheek a bit which yeah. is lovely and that the choreography is slightly different whereas you've got the end of Act 1 which is very integrated integral uh, that's and intricate as well, intricate. Really, really intricate dancing. That, that it goes in between, that it weaves in and out, that people are doing different part sections and big... Do, do you all use the stand, standard choreography like from, from uh, London? Absolutely, the same choreography the same is one. all over the world, whether you see so, it Broadway, London, yes. here. So you just have to make sure that they do it the same way? It's, it's Absolutely. It does change it's slightly in the fact that the partner works can change with different right. people, okay. that they work off each other yeah. and there's different... But the, the cut, the, the cast, the, the ensemble yeah, are the same? Pretty much so. And also Jamie's allowed to work with, I mean, if there are different personalities within the, mm. uh, within yeah. the, maybe the principles, then certain things may change a little bit. There's a, there's a little bit of creative uh, input and some from all of us, really, this, considering it is 15 years old. Yeah. This show, you know, there is room for manoeuvre a little bit and the people that we work for allow that, as long as we see within the framework. Yeah, so like, uh, like uh, take a chance. Um, is well, you get two different actors, and although it's staging rather than choreography, um, the two actors they work in, in rehearsals and they work something, and that will evolve over the time, especially because we're on the road. So we make sure that it works for them. That so it's slight, it's slightly differently. It's a it's not carbon one. copy every time. Yeah. There's, yeah. A, there's room for manoeuvre. That, that more so for Jamie. Really, obviously the songs always stay the same. You've got to sing No Me Knowing You exactly the same. You can't. <laughs> Change yes, that depending mean. on the actor. <laughs> I grew mean. up with it. <laughs> yeah, but, me too, me too. but you know, but, but Jamie's department is very. There is, there is. You're quite lucky that you can yeah. sometimes just give a little bit of change, which is nice. Keeps it fresh. Are there challenges to um, training the uh, the cast? Absolutely, because we go from. Um, we go from older um, principals that, and go down to the youngest people that have just come out of college and often they're doing the same choreography. So uh, someone that's been just come out of college is ballet trained and they're amazing, their technique is incredible and then you've got older members of the cast that may not have uh, uh, done as much um, dance training yeah. and, uh, but they, it takes longer to get but I think when numbers like the uh, the finale like you saw that they're doing the same sort the of thing yeah, so, oh my god yeah so they're having to do stuff that the ensemble behind them are doing at the same time so yeah it's like the liveliest uh, dancing for for dancing queen yes. you know dancing is uh, da, da, it's just like that but you know wow you can do that much I, i'm just i love it Oh, yeah, brilliant. Thanks, That's all. Good. Yeah, I grew up at the. Oh I know, my god, it's, it's exciting. And, and have you seen the show before yourself? Uh, no. Ah. I've only seen the movie. Oh, oh this is much better. Mm, don't like the Maybe. singing too much, but. <laughs> Keep quiet, <laughs> I'm with you all. We're with you. You'll be absolutely amazed. Yes, you'll be I will so be. so proud and so amazed by this wonderful cast. It's a great show, anyway. Yeah. Um. Considerations to dancing with like heels that, yeah. that oh my god platforms yes Are they? yes they're big for the Do you all dance them yeah yeah okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's why you're asking all the questions about dancing and not the songs thanks. <laughs> well, they, um, we, when I'm we, also a musician no, no, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> we used to have this joke when we when you when you start doing that with your dynamo you have to go to Super Trooper School for eight weeks and all you do is march on the spot in, 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 <laughs> and then at the, the end platforms. you can and then just at the end do that. No just I'm just thinking with all the movements that's going on and platforms and stuff, 
hard to sing. You know, well, well they're trained. Professionally. Yeah, they, they are. You know, yeah, they, 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 this is their craft, and they yeah. they learn. You know, from very early on for stamina. When you go to college, you learn to do shows, and you do you sing and you dance and you act and you move and you do it eight shows a week. Yeah. that's what they get paid for. You know, and Ebba's songs are not easy to sing. It's not easy say. to sing. They're pleasurable to sing. They're not easy to sing, but they're not uh, they're not difficult in so much as they are memorable melodies, they do they do interesting things. But Benny Anderson, one of my biggest heroes of my life, is a piano player and as a, and as a composer, and I just adore him, his work, entire range of work. He makes it sound simple, but it is interesting. He goes, someone said about Benny Anderson, when he writes a song, he gets up an hour earlier and thinks about it, rather than some other writers who get up at eight o'clock and just go, oh, well, that'll do. Then he always goes further. But they're memorable, do you know what I mean? And they're easy to sing because they're memorable and they're complicated because they don't just do the obvious thing. I think a lot of people don't realise how complicated well, well, they can yeah, be. Yeah, they, they're layered. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and they're not, so. they're not the obvious thing to do, but they're made to sound like they're the most pleasant, most um, restful on the ear. I don't think he did it on purpose. I think it's what he likes to do. He's very inventive with, with chords and melodies and different movements and just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going until... And this is in the 1970s when production was very, very early. And so if you think, if you look at some of the production values of the 80s, they're terrible shit, sorry, um, <laughs> they're really cheap. Really cheap. But then mm. you go about the seventies, and you have people, and the yeah. multi-layered. Yeah, I, I, I remember the songs, the recordings, and they're yeah, multi-layered and they're complicated, and they're interesting. Yeah, but they're squashed together, and the, the important things come to the top, like in a good jar of something or other, that like pond thing. The good <laughs> stuff comes to the top. But if you listen, you can hear more. If you don't want to listen, you can just hear the yeah, interesting yeah. stuff. Yeah, you know? It's just as well they went on to write chess. Yeah, and chess, one of my favorite. And that, that Swedish musical, which yes, of course we'll never understand, but it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, Beautiful it's like music. opera. Yeah, but the Bee Gees is an interesting thing. As a musician, I will say that the Bee Gees are those three men who wrote their their productions were great. Again, they went to extra places to write melodies and chords and add things in. So not a million miles away. I mean, there are a few, and certainly the Bee Gees were certainly on, on a par, certainly on a par with Benny and Bjorn. They just got up a little bit earlier and did some more work, you know, and, and I thought about it yeah. and went to interesting places. But when you squash it all together, it still sounds pleasant. It's, it's accessible and interesting. It's complicated and accessible, which I think is a brilliant combination. Do you have to uh, take into consideration the different leads for different shows, dancing the same step? Do, do they have different... Because I've no, not seen the show, I don't know how much dancing they actually do. Absolutely. I mean, um, they, we have got, as I say, we have guys that have never really danced a step. And when you first start, like, um, we have a lovely lady, play, uh, Sue Devaney, who plays Rosie. And when we first started in rehearsals, we just go, I can't get it. And, she, and uh, Nicola, who's my boss, Nicola Traherne, would video her, her doing it. And she'd go home every night and she'd go back over it, back over it, back over it. And now I can tell her a change, and she'll just go, "Okay, so I just change my arm," <laughs> and it's like that. Well, her so her they all, they all have to do it. They all have to do yeah, it, no matter what. Absolutely. Her learning curve has okay. been brilliant this okay. year. She really loves yeah. learning, and then one learns new. I'm, I'm learning new things all the time. So you, thank tell you. us why we should see the show. Why should we see the show? Yeah, come because, on. Because it's why, brilliant. Why? Why? Nobody dies, and it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I, I can guarantee that nobody comes to see this show and comes out without a smile on well, their face. Well, yeah, yeah. I always used to say. In the old days, when the story wasn't so well known, you come to the ABBA, but you go away with so much more. Mm. Ah. Yes, yes. I just saw the two two numbers. I was smiling. Exactly. You love it. <laughs> and you hold, oh my God! Yeah, you're gonna have a good time. I grew up with it. <laughs> thank you very much. No, thank, thank you. Nice you. to meet you. Thank you. Lovely yes. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> See you tonight. Yes. Yeah. Enjoy. You know, I'll be yes. there at the front. <laughs> Bye. With the big stick. Bye. 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 Bye.